will never plan for you. Everything that you don't know about will never have cornered you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In life, you should know that the evil don't back down. They don't step down. They keep pushing. But you know what happened? Those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. The strength to fight back. The strength to keep pushing. That is what God is going to give us today. And of as many that are believing this, may the hand of God be upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Three instances, even today, even as we, you know, just hear this a little bit and we get ready to pray. Number one is in Matthew chapter one. In Matthew chapter one, there was a little man who has signed up to get married to a woman. In Israel, then, a virgin, a lady must be a virgin to get married properly. Because when a man sees a woman and says, I want to marry you, the man will go to the father of the woman. When the father of the lady said, hey, this is your, your amount, you have to pay me $10,000 for you to get my daughter. And the man said, okay, sir. He will go and get the money and bring the money. When he brings the money, the man will, 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 will give them a room in his house. The first night of what we call today that, uh, what do they call it? Honeymoon. The first honeymoon is done in the house of the father of the girl. That is why they will confirm to know that if the girl is virgin or she's not. In the process, Joseph got married to Mary. And uh, all of a sudden, a young lady got pregnant. What happened? In the midst of it, John, uh, was Joseph was about to, to, you know, to secretly let her go. Matthew chapter 1. You know, in life, there are some things you cannot understand. No matter how you fast, you pray, you cannot understand them. In life, there are some things you cannot comprehend. No matter how you fast and you pray, you cannot comprehend them. It has been said to, to be above you. But when you are in the midst of what you don't know, you do well remember what you know. God is what you know. And that God you know will help you to deal with what you don't know. Mary was pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph have a choice to what? To secretly let her go. But something happened. Matthew chapter 1 verse 20 please. Matthew chapter 1 verse 20. Look at what the power of God did. But while he thought about this thing, while he thought about secretly pushing her away, behold, behold, an angel of the Lord, angel of the Lord, appeared to him, in appeared to him in a dream. Let saying, me tell you something. There's what we call divine intervention. Tonight, what I'm sharing with you is the force of divine intervention. There are some places. There are some places you cannot speak. You need divine intervention for God to speak for you. There are some places that your leg cannot get you. You need divine. What is happening in our country today is divine intervention that we need. It's beyond everybody. Evil ravage to take over the good. So when you are not, you are the one doing good. They say you are the one doing evil. That is the world that we live right now. Why? Let's read again. Matthew chapter one. Verse 20. But while he thought about this, why he thought about it, behold, behold, an angel of the Lord, angel of the Lord, appeared to him in a dream. Angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, saying, Joseph, Joseph, son of David, son of David, do not be afraid to, do take, not be afraid to take Mary, as, to take Mary as your wife. wife. Yes, for that which is conceived, in that her, which is conceived in her, in her, is of the Holy Spirit. Is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son. And he shall call his Down, name. down, these are the instructions that they gave him. But the Holy Spirit prevented Joseph to secretly what? Push Mary away. Can I pray for anyone listening to this right now? If they are selling shame, you will not afford it. Amen. Many cannot see shame because what happened? Divine intervention. Let's take our seats. Somebody say divine intervention. Yes. Number two. 
divine intervention. When Jesus was born, and the wise men saw the star, a chapter after that, chapter 2, the wise men saw the star, and they came, and Herod, they came to Herod as a protocol, and said, hey, this is what we did, hey, this is easy. Herod said, hey, go and look, and come and give back three words. In verse 12 of chapter, verse 12 of Matthew chapter 2. Why those men came to locate where Jesus Christ was, God instructed them again. What did God tell them? Yeah, being the only one. Being the only one. In a dream. In a dream. That they should not return. To that Herod. they should not return. Every gang up of hell against you. Amen. May God scatter their intention. Amen. Listen, they have been bribed, they have been given money, they have been given instruction. Say, so go and locate that baby Jesus and I'm going to kill him. But he never told them that. But why they finish doing what they're supposed to do for Jesus? They're supposed to go back to him. Read it again. 2.12 Them being divinely one. Being divinely one of in God. A dream. In a dream. They should not return. They should not return. To Herod. May the wise men of your life never return to Herod. Amen. There is danger if they can return to Herod. Because the Jesus will not survive it. Baby Jesus is different from man Jesus. You have to know that. Second place of divine intervention. I speak tonight by the authority of Jesus and by the empowerment of Holy Spirit. Anyone that has made demand, anyone that has decided, concluded that they will put you to shame, they will not succeed. Amen. Anyone that have gone God, they are gathering in the mighty name of Jesus. Their, their, their mind will never come together. Amen. They will never become a team again. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As we round up tonight, where else again can we find it? Brother Timmy, you have showed us two in the New Testament. There are many, you remember what Paul, Paul, uh, some group of people, they gang up against Paul. He said, hey, we will not eat, we will not drink, because Paul what? Somebody went, you know, this is a divine intervention. But let's go to what happened. To uh, Laban, Genesis chapter 31, verse 24 and verse 29. And God came to Laban, the Syrian in a dream by night, and said to him, Take it that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. He was warned. He said, don't ever imagine you can use a wrong negative word against him. He said, either good. He said, everyone that have made up their mind to speak evil against you, may their mouth be shut. Amen. May their mouth be shut. Amen. Someone said divine intervention. Divine intervention. Someone said divine intervention. divine intervention. The Lord appeared to him. Abimelech, God appeared to him, not to take the wife of God. You know, these are divine intervention. You need them. You need them. You need them. You need them. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone stronger, bigger, and more powerful than you, they will not be able to watch you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Look at verse 29 of Genesis 31. Verse 29. It is in my power. It is in my power to do you harm. To do you not. But the God of your father. But the God of your father spoke to me last night. Spoke to me last night. Saying, you will stand up on your feet, everybody. That's the secret. The God of your. You know, we live in a world that people don't know. There is what we call fatherhood. It's in Matthew chapter ten, verse forty. The spirit of your father will speak in you. There is a God of the Father. There is a spirit of the Father. <laughs> God of the Father, the Spirit of the Father, the God of the Father, the Spirit of the Father, the God of the Father, the Spirit of the Father. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Let's say it again. It is in my power of my hand to do you, to hurt you. But God of your Father speak to me yesterday night, saying, Take thou not, take thou eat, that thou speak not to Jacob, either good. Three places you are praying today. 
Lord, in these 40 days of waiting on you, Amen. I call for divine intervention. Amen. Let men speak for me. Amen. Let heaven speak for me. Amen. Let men speak for me. Amen. Let heaven speak for me. Let men speak for me. Wherever you cannot speak, may God release angels to speak for you. Wherever you cannot get to, may heaven release power to speak for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In life, there will be tribulation. But the Bible says, be of good change because of what happened. I have overcome the world. God, has, God overcomes the world by intervening into your situation. That's how God over, 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 overcomes the world on your behalf. Through Jesus Christ. Can you imagine that the Lord did not appear to Laban? He must have used a wrong native word on Jacob. Can you imagine that the, the angel of the Lord did not appear to jo uh, Joseph? He could have secretly what? Put away Mary for shame. Can you imagine that the Spirit of the Lord did not appear to the wise men? They could have gone back to Herod and called for the death of Jesus. But God. Somebody say, but God. Okay. Somebody say, but God. Okay. Somebody say, but God. Okay. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, may God appear for you. Amen. May God appear to you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever you are around the world right now, and you know, and you know, and you know, you're knowing that uh, something is wrong. You are not in line with God. Only those who are in line with God, that God will speak on their behalf. So whenever you are around the world, and you know there is no relationship between you and them, I want to give you an opportunity today. The privilege, when you go to leverage, to go to your next level. All you need to do is to lift up your left hand up and put your right hand on your chest, and say this after me. Lord Jesus, among us, I know that you died for me on the third day. You rose up again that I might be justified. Right now, my sins are forgiven. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things have become new. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I pray for you. May the power to be in line with God receive it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you never go down in energy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As we are waiting on God right now, there will be total connection. Amen. May God speak for you. Amen. May God speak for you. Amen. May God appear to people for your sake. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 It is often time. It is often time. Lift up your seed above your head. And say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. bless this seed. Let it speak. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let it be a deposit in my heavenly bank. Amen. And give me the capacity to come back to me in order for in sin they returned Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This is blessed. It shall be used for the work of the Lord Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Through this communion today, I pray that there will be total help from heaven. Amen. Wherever you stand, favor we answer for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Anything that you need, anything. Anything needed for you to carry the presence of God for favor, you receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus never lacked favor. You will never lack favor. Amen. By this communion, healing river flow. Amen. Wherever you are watching me from around the world and you know you are believing God for healing, take the communion and I bless the communion right now as the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. This is blessed amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Lift up your hand, everybody, and worship the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the honor. Father, we give you all the adoration. Take all the glory and have your way in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. I decree the peace of God upon you. May you continue to hold on to God. Today we have prayed for divine intervention. May heaven appear to you. 
May heaven appear for you Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let us share the goodness, show the God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall be in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. It's my turn to shine. It's my of light. By the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, we rise and shine. Give somebody a knock and say, I receive my divine intervention. I receive my divine intervention.